Welcome back. President Abd Fattah al-Sisi delivered his inaugural speech in the Tokyo International Conference on African Development, known as the TICAD in Yokohama, Japan. During his speech, he expressed his appreciation to the conference for linking Africa with one of its significant strategic partners, noting that it aims to enhance development efforts in African countries since inception in 1993. The president called on international and regional funds to take part in development programs in the continent so as to foster trade volume and increase investments. He stressed the significance of boosting African Union development policies in a bid to achieve peace and security. For his part, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe asserted his country's keenness to support sustainable development and investments in the African continent, highlighting efforts exerted by his government to boost private sector engagement in Africa as well as cooperating with international funds to eliminate threats to development facing the continent. The president kicked off his agenda in the Japanese city of Yokohama Wednesday with a summit with his host, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. On the sidelines of the TICAD, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi held summit with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe with the attendance of the delegations of the two countries. Presidential spokesman Ambassador Bassem Rodi said that Abe praised what Egypt has achieved in the field of development, especially within the framework of the tangible ongoing achievements at the economic reform program as well as the mega national projects. Abe added that this encouraged the Japanese companies to benefit from the investment opportunities provided by these projects, asserting that Japan seeks to foster its bilateral cooperation. Rodi added that President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi asserted his keenness to visit Japan to co-chair the seventh TICAD with Abe, aiming at enhancing means of bilateral strategic ties. Rodi said that the meeting tackled means of boosting cooperation between the two countries. The meeting also reviewed means of bolstering bilateral relations in various aspects, as well as number of regional files with mutual concern. For his part, Abi expressed his country's support for the Egyptian efforts in fighting terrorism and extremism in the Middle East. Also, the political visions of the two countries were agreed upon the significance of approaching political resolutions for the regional crisis. TICAT 7 will focus on economic transformation and improving the business environment through involving the private sector in the process. It will also probe efforts to establish sustainable communities and entrench security and stability in Africa. Also on the first day of the conference, the president held a number of meetings with a number of high-level Japanese officials. Prior to the inauguration of the TICAD 7 conference, President Abd Fattah al-Sisi met with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe to discuss means of enhancing bilateral ties. The meeting was followed by a tour of the pavilions of participating countries in the exhibition organized by Japan Foreign Trade Organization. Other presidential meetings included the head of the Japanese Agency for International Cooperation known as the JICA. The president also met with the chair of the Hiroshima University. During the first inaugural session of the 7th TICAD, entitled General Observations and the Future of TICAD, President El Sisi expressed appreciation in addressing the gathering that binds Africa with its significant strategic partners. The gathering, launched in 1993, is based on cooperation and achieving mutual interest aims while fostering development efforts in the African countries. 
President Sisi noted the huge achievements made due to the TICAD partnership, which positively reacted to regional developments. On his part, the Japanese Prime Minister and the Mayor of Yokohama hosted the reception ceremony attended by President Sisi. Strong and historical relations dating back to the 19th century contribute to the significance of Egyptian-Japanese ties. In the late 19th century, the first Japanese expedition mission came to Egypt at a time when both countries were witnessing major political shifts. Egypt and Japan have traditionally enjoyed cordial relations. Considering Egypt to be a very important country for the stability of the Middle East, Japan regards these bilateral relations as the axis of its diplomacy in the region. These bilateral relations have steadily developed through increased political, economic, and cultural exchanges between the two countries. On the summit level, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe visited Egypt in January 2015, and President Abdel Fattah Sisi visited Japan in February to March 2016. Both leaders declared Japan-Egypt joint statement, which is considered to be the first step of the leap towards a new stage in bilateral relations between the two countries as both leaders reiterated their willingness to continue to work towards promoting regional and international stability and development and to further develop their strategic relationship, in particular in the fields of education, electricity, and health through exchanging of agreements such as Egypt-Japan Education Partnership. Since then, the bilateral relationship between Japan and Egypt witnessed a new leap by enhancing the cooperation on education, human and cultural exchange, as well as on sustainable and comprehensive economic and social development. President Abu Fattah Sisi said that Egypt looks forward to promoting economic and commercial relations with Japan via promising investment opportunities in the Egyptian market in various sectors. During a meeting with the chairman of the Japan External Trade Organization, Sisi reiterated that Egypt is keen on direct interaction with Japanese businessmen to review Egypt's capabilities, including trained labor and the free trade agreements linked with Arab, African, and European countries. In other news, Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli headed the Cabinet's weekly meeting on Wednesday. During that meeting, the ministers discussed a number of political, economic and social files, as well as the implementation of mega national projects, in addition to developing the health and education sectors. They also discussed the inclusive health insurance system and measures of providing basic commodities to low-income brackets. <laughs> 